Hello everyone, I'm Luis and today I'm going to show you how I found a leak and replaced the hose on my Volkswagen Cabrio's hydraulic top system. The first thing I did was remove the rear seat, which all you do is remove one hex bolt that is here and one on the other side there. Pretty easy, you just take those two off and it'll come out. I think the bolt is the H5. After you remove that, the seat, if there's a leak back here, you will see the fluid on this part. Uh, it'll be a bluish, greenish color. Whichever side you see it on, it will be the side that the leak is on. On mine, it was on this side, and you can still see some like residue from it. Uh, I cleaned it up since I found it. After you find which side the leak is on, you have to take off the rear uh, panel, uh, which is pretty easy to do. There will be two screws on on here, one here, one here. Uh, there will be a couple clips around, like one back here. Uh, one is you have to fold this seat down and it'll be right there with this in it uh, and there might be a one right here but that's held with a screw and then some clips will be on this part which you just pull out and yeah just be careful uh, pull it from the back not not the material because it's kind of a cardboardish material that you may rip easily when pulling too hard. Once you remove the door panel, here is the cylinder which uh, the fluid from the rear, the pump in the trunk uh, fills this thing up with fluid and that's how the top comes up and down. Uh, so there's a hose here which goes all the way to the back to that pump and there will be another one up here which is the one that went bad on mine so right now it's not on here but I'll show you how it went bad uh, here is the hose itself uh, it's supposed to be uh, wrapped with a, a black kind of plastic material like that uh, that stuff is brittle and you can see it all over down there with age it just broke down and here the hose came off this fitting it usually goes in through there but it broke off since and then it just screws um, in there like that so to take it off uh, you just uh, break that bolt loose I believe it's like a 14 millimeter uh, wrench that you use but you just break that off like any other and that's it to take it off from here next thing you have to do is come to the back and there will be a cover around this which is held on by four screws one two uh, three and four uh, just normal screws on mine. I've seen others that have different ones, but here's where the hydraulic pump is. Uh, if you want to check the fluid, the top has to be down uh, because uh, when it's up, all the fluid is supposed to be on those cylinders. But uh, you want to check the fluid when the top is down. If you need to add more, I'll put the link at the correct fluid to use uh, in the description but you add it from this hole. So here is where the, all the hoses connect. These are the ones for the right side. These are the ones for the left side, the driver's side. Um, to find out which one you uh, took off, what I did was I just like uh, pulled on one. There is usually a bolt up here, which I have off right now. I also have this unplugged uh, since it doesn't work uh, and there's no fluid in there. I don't want to accidentally hit the button and have it running dry. 
Uh, here are the hoses and uh, uh, to find out which one is the one you uh, took off, you just kind of have to yank him. I guess this one is the left side, bottom, uh, left side, top, and I'm not sure. I will believe it's the right side, top, right side, bottom. To take them off, you have to uh, unscrew uh, whichever side it's on. There'll be a screw, so if it's on the this side, you remove this screw off. And if it's on that side, you remove this one off. And then they come loose. Um, it's like a torch uh, security bit here. So just make sure you have that. I believe it's like a T15. And the lines run through that so you might want to take off um, some of the clips that hold this in place so when you slide the new one in you'll be able to see better and slide it better here's a replacement hose i bought this online uh it's a hel hose uh, i'll put the link in the description from the website i got it from it ships from the UK, so if you live in the United States, it's uh, it'll be like a week, week and a half for it to get to you. It cost about seventy dollars. They do sell all four hoses for a reduced price too. But as you can see, it does have the wrap, the black wrap around it, and it's sealed properly here. And yeah, this is a correct replacement. In case anyone's interested, the link will be in the description for this. So to install this, what I'm going to do is from in here, I'm just going to try to guide it uh, through this hole back to where the pump is. Alright, so I passed the hose through. You see it's installed there. I lifted up the carpet and this, and then you can get a better look. You can lift all this out pretty easy. Um, I used uh, did on a ratchet because to get a uh, better leverage. If you can get an extension there, it would be easier because right now it had to go at an angle. But yeah, if you can get an extension and kind of do it back here, that would be easier. And you want to make sure it's really snug tight uh, so it doesn't come out. And now I go and do the front. Up here, you see I pass it through where it went before. You know, try to keep it clean. And I started threading it on there. Uh, just do it by hand until you can't do it anymore. And then you use your wrench and wrench it all the way till it's snug. All right, so I got that bolted in there. Pretty snug. It's pretty clean all the way down. Yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to do to find the problem and fix it. Again, if you need to know the kind of fluid to get, I'll put a link in the description. I put the name in the link. And if you're looking for a place to get a brand new high quality hose, I'll put the link in the description as well. Uh, thank and lastly, to fill up the fluid back up, uh, what you wanna do first is put the top down manually and then fill it up. And then don't put the bolt in there for the filler. Uh, what you do instead, you run it a couple times with it off so the air can get out of the system. Uh, at least that's what I have read. And um, after three or four times, you put that bolt back on, and then you should be ready to go. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. And if you have any questions about this or a Cabrio question, Mark III question in general, uh, feel free to leave it down below, and I'll try to answer you to the best of my abilities.